Hi friends, it's Peggy Noe from PrettyPaperCards.com. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm here with my little dog Ellie, my little Yorkshire Terrier. Hi baby. She is, she was taking a nap and I had to wake her up. So she's kind of a little bit sleepy, but that's so normal for her in the afternoon, isn't it? Happy Wednesday. Happy middle of the weekday. Let me check here on my laptop and make sure that we really are live. I like to check to make sure everything's working. And I see that it is, so that's great. I'm glad that you could join us today. We love to have you. And I thank you for popping on. I welcome my YouTube people and my Facebook Live people. YouTube Live and Facebook Live. We're going on both now. And I thank you for that. Thank you for tuning in. So this is a busy week, isn't it? It's Easter week. And for many of you, it's spring break week. And... For those of us in the Stampin' Up! world, it's new catalog time. And I'm going to be talking a lot about that because um, new catalog time is very exciting in, in the Stampin' Up! world because that means lots and lots of new products, fun things, um, new designs, new papers, new stamps, new colors just so much going on and it's really fun we just we love new catalog time in fact i'm just was thinking um, right before i came on and planning i'm going to be sending my uh, the demonstrators that are under me my my demonstrators that have joined under me i'm going to be sending them a little special card this this week about new catalog time because it's so much fun so, thank you so much for turn, tuning in. Um, I want to remind you that I do give a prize at the end, and that's for everybody who wrote the word prize last week, either on a YouTube comment or a Facebook Live comment. And if you want to be um, entered to win the prize, put leave a comment that just says prize with your name, and then be sure to check back next week because um, if you win, I need your address. Her hairs are itching me today. <laughs> if you win, I need your address. So um, you can start putting prize down now if you want to be entered in the prize for next week. I won't show it until later. I always award the prize at the very end of our time together. So Pam, good to see you. Thank you for sharing. Diane, good to see you. Um, so, we have a lot to talk about today because we're going to make a card using the new in colors and I'm going to talk about them. And then we're also going, we're going to use a, a set that's from the Spring Mini catalog which is still going strong. And so we're going to make a spring card with new colors. Is that okay with you, Ellie? Does that sound okay? She's kind of like in a daze, isn't she? Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put her down so she can take her the rest of her nap. And oh, We must be getting a package. That's usually what's happening. Oh boy. Okay, well, hopefully she'll stop. She doesn't usually stop until I go out and get the package, but someone, the front, hi, um, Cherie, good to see you. Cherie, thank you for your beautiful Easter card. I love it. I love it when you guys send me cards. Um, I just think it's so special. I got several this week and I put them up in my room, my craft room. And so thank you so much. Yeah, I think I must have gotten a delivery, but she's going to be quiet hopefully for a minute. Gosh, she gets so excited when people come. She really does. Okay, so the news is the new catalog. It goes live on uh, May 3rd. And for those of you who are my customers, your catalogs were mailed out on Monday, this past Monday. So you should be getting them sometime this week and be looking for those in the mail. Um, I got to pre-order, which you know because I did my pre-order um, unboxing last week. But you know what? There are some things I didn't get, so I can't even believe it. I put in a second pre-order. You know, I just... 
I see it and I'm like, I really want that stuff because this goes with this and that. And it's true, that's one of the best things about Stampin' Up! is all the colors and papers and designs, they all coordinate so beautifully. So of course, there were some embellishments I didn't get, but now I see they actually go with the in colors and with the designer series paper, so I had to get the embellishments. So, hi Roz! Um, anyway, <clears throat> I uh, Tina, good to see you from Granite Falls, North Carolina. So I put in my second order, my second pre-order. Um, and it is a fabulous catalog and I'm loving getting everything early. If you don't have a demonstrator and you want me to send you a catalog, email me at peggy at prettypapercards.com with your shipping address and I will get a catalog out to you. Um, I'm looking over here at my notes because I'm talking about announcements and news. Last chance items, when we get a new catalog, it means the old catalog goes away and everything that's retiring either just retires or it retires on sale. So we're having a last chance sale that goes until May 2nd. And go on over there, check it out. I have a link um, right in the comments. If you're on YouTube, it's below. If you're on Facebook, it's up above. And check out my online store. There are some great values over there that you don't want to miss. Um, also, my host code for April, I made a big sign for you. <laughs> Here's the host code for April. And what the host code is, when you um, place an order of $50 or more, if you put the host code in right when you start your order, you and your order is $50 or more, you will get a free gift from me. And this month the free gift is a bone folder. And you know what? I was thinking I need a new bone folder. I don't know if you can see. This is supposed to be the Stampin' Up! logo and it's completely worn off. The bone folder is totally fine. But since you guys can see it, I probably should be using one that has the logo on it, right? So I'll probably get a new one just for myself. But other than that, they last forever. That's just me. But if you would like a bone folder uh, for free, and I send it to you kind of the middle of the next month, place an order in my online store and use this host code. And if you want to know where, where to put it, um, on my blog I have a, um, some instructions. And if you want to know more, just leave me a comment here or email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com. Okay, we are ready to talk about new in colors and I'm going to go ahead and switch you down and we'll see if that works. Okay, I've got the the host code up there. I've been wanting to do that. Roz, good to see you. Thank you. Here are the new in colors. I have been talking about them and I'm going to move that because I want you to see the, the new in colors. Maybe I'll put them this way. There you go. I've been talking about them and I want you to see them and we're going to use three of them today because they are, hi Marsha, good to see you. These are beautiful. They are bright, but bright and beautiful. I usually um, tend towards subtles, but you know, I've been using them and I love them. So I'm going to give myself a little quiz right on the live. So if some of you know the names, you can check me, okay? So I thought I would start, let's start up here at this end. Um, Oasis, um, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, I'm gonna have to check myself. Orchid Oasis, so I didn't get that right. Right, put an X on that one. <laughs> okay. Let's see if I can get the other four. Parakeet Party, so far this is really my favorite. Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet and Tahitian Tide. Okay, yay, four out of five, not too bad. Roz, cheerful, yes, very cheerful colors, just what we needed. They are gorgeous, I just love them. And um, after May 3rd, on May 3rd or after, <clears throat> you can order a nice package of paper that has an assortment of all the in-color cardstock. Or I'm also going to do an in-color sampler and I'm going to start advertising that next week along with my designer series paper share because I want you to be all set for with the new catalog and with all the new colors. So those are the in colors. Now there is um, one 
set of designer series paper that has that's coming up that has every new in color in it and it's called the tea boutique designer series paper it's six by six and we're going to use a piece a couple pieces of it today but i wanted to show you because you can see the colors here in this paper it's really beautiful and you get four sheets of each um, pattern and it's one pattern on the front and another one on the back and the backs are generally um, a little more of background type papers here's one this i i this is not the new in color they also have in in this a grouping garden green and fresh freesia and you know how i know that and i've told you guys this before if you keep this backing sheet that comes with your designer series paper right up here it tells you the colors the stampin up colors that are used in the designer series paper so that you can um, so you can always use the coordinating paper and you know what it is so this one says crumb cake crushed curry fresh freesia garden green and then all the five new in colors so there are quite a few colors here but they are gorgeous so now we have this pretty one there's crushed curry that's a background paper here's a pretty floral background now this is one we're going to be using today I'm going to use this paper today and this is our sweet sorbet color and it is kind of a red look and here we have a light color I think that's um, uh, petal, petal pink I think and here's more teapots in the current colors the backing of the teapots oh it sounds like my husband opened the door so we can get the package and Ellie can be happy now <laughs> anyway this paper is just so pretty I just wanted to show you some of it show you how pretty it is um, show you the backs because we're going to use some today um, this is one I've used for our sample card that back side and this is one of my favorites okay lemons I love lemons um, Pam you didn't think you wanted it but now you do because everyone's showing it off that's right and I love lemons and I love this lemon paper because the stamp set that's part of the bundle and the suite that all this comes with has a lemon sliced lemon and there are lemon dyes we're not going to use that stamp set today but anyway, look at these gorgeous papers. I just really wanted to show you and let you know that they have all the in colors in them. Um, and I think they might be part of my in color sampler that I'll advertise next week. I'm still formulating that. Okay, that is going to go off to the side. <clears throat> and here is the card we're going to make today. You know, it is spring. And let me move our in colors over and so you can see the entire card. I wanted to use the in colors, but I wanted to also do a spring card. And I love from the new mini catalog, the flowering rain boots set. <clears throat> because even though it's not raining here in Southern California, we did have a sprinkle or two the other day, but it was just misty. But I know you guys are having full on rain and other things. And I love this set. It's kind of a gardening set, but it also has the rain boots and it has some really cute sentiments. Hi Roz, thank you. And so this is, I wanted to use a set, this set, and I wanted to use the new in color so you can see how they work. And we're gonna also use some of the dyes that come with the rain boot set. And I'm gonna show you that. So let's get started. So let's see here, this, now, the sample I used the more kind of a more solid paper from the T boutique papers we just looked at it but I thought we'd try this one for our card together I thought this was just real pretty and it gives the same look because it's it's kind of the um, well it's sweet sorbet it's not red so we're gonna use the kind of card that I've been using a lot lately that opens up this way so it's 11 inches by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half and we're just going to use our bone folder um, to burnish that line nice and neat there okay there's our card front and now what I've done here the this is our parakeet party and like I said I think this is going to be my favorite color of the new in colors it's 
I just love it. I really do. And look how great it looks with that sweet sorbet right on top of it. And it's, we're going to use more of it too. But what I want to tell you is this is cut in five and a quarter by four. And then this piece is cut just an eighth of an inch in. Just because I'm really liking the little thin eighth of an inch border. So we're going to go ahead and get our card base all set up. And that's a nice background here too, that petal pink that we could certainly use on lots of other cards. So we're just gonna get that just so a little bit shows on each side. And again, if you use the glue, the multi-purpose glue, you can move it around just a little bit like I am. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it on the front of our card and we'll be ready to do some stamping and using the new in colors, the ink. So let's go ahead and put this on. And doesn't that just look nice, that little eighth of an inch border? It just really does something, I think. Danette, good to see you. Um, you know, I don't, well, I don't know because we haven't gotten the retiring list yet from the um, mini catalog, but I don't see it in the new, the new annual. So that's one, another reason I'm using it, because my suspicion is it's not carrying over unless they carry it over as something special, but I didn't see this set in the new annual. And I love it, I really do, so I wanted to get a lot of use out of it. Okay, now what we're gonna do, thanks for asking that, Danette. So here are the colors we're gonna use today. I've got my stamp pads, and I've got, do you, I assume that some of you know, and maybe one time I will do, um, some type of a little, uh, a special little video on how to set up, how to open your stamps, your um, ink cases. Because when you get your ink cases, you get um, a piece of plastic on the back with lots of these um, long colored strips and it has other languages. And what you do is you pull off a strip, the one in your language, and you put it right on the front, it's adhesive. And then you, there's a, another plain strip and you put that right in here so that you can see the color from the inside. So that's how I know this is Sweet Sorbet. So I went ahead and did that because these are all brand new. We're gonna use Sweet Sorbet, Parakeet Party, and Tahitian Tide. Okay, so I think we're gonna do our boots first. We're gonna use the Tahitian Tide for our rain boots. And I've got my stamps all mounted on my block, my clear blocks, and um, these are photopolymer and we need a lot of padding but i've told you before i'm just going to move this up i have a lot of padding here but for you you might use some type of padding you could use a catalog would even work well okay so we're just going to put these this stamp on here just like that and we will do our cutting later we'll do our die cutting because everything we're doing here has a die that goes with it. So now let's do um, let's do our green leaves in the parakeet party. Here are the leaves. It's really fun in this set. And again, it's still available. I checked before I came on. Um, none of what I'm showing you is sold out, except you can't get the new in colors until May three. So here's our parakeet party. Um, actually, they're the stems of the tulips. Okay, and then we're going to use, I have all these little papers cut so they'll go right in through our um, mini cut and emboss machine. I'm just keeping that right at my desk and I just, if I put a little, you know, put my stamp, if I stamp a small piece of paper, less than four inches wide or four inches wide will do it, then it'll run right through the machine. I, I just love it. And so here are our tulips. Aren't these colors just so pretty as we're stamping? Um, now we have a sentiment to stamp. And the sentiment is um, live life in full bloom. I thought that was, I really like that sentiment. Especially I think coming off of uh, COVID and all of the things that we have been through the past few years and now that it's spring, it, it seems like a very appropriate sentiment. So I'm not sure, do I have enough ink on there? Okay. There we go. Live life in full bloom. Love it. Okay. 
and now we're ready to do our die cutting and I've got some special dies we're going to cut also so let me get all this out of the way first of all we're going to go ahead and use the double oval punch on our sentiment so let's just get that out of the way before we do our die cutting this is a great um, punch and it's carrying over into the new catalog the double oval punch and so there we go now we're ready with that and let's get out the little um, our mini stamp and cut and emboss Avanel good to see you thanks for putting down prize so let me get this so that you can see it here got all my inks up there and these dies are really cool because they the dies fit with exactly what we're cutting. So here is our here are our tulips that we stamped, and the tulip die just goes right on top of that. It just fits. I mean, it's amazing the way they do this. It just fits perfectly there. And rather than using washi tape, what I try to do is place my plate right on top and just hold it, and it works fine. And I'm just going to run that right through. And here are the tulips, just like that. And you'll be so surprised how well they fit on the, on the leaves. So let's go ahead and do the leaves. If you don't have this set, you haven't seen how, how neat it works. And look at this die. This is really an interesting die. Can you see that? It almost looks like a hand with a whole bunch of fingers. And what it does is it just goes right over the, the leaves and stems of the tulips right here. I think I've got it right. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put this through. And see how easy that rolls. I mean, again, I'm just loving my mini stamp and cut and emboss. And let me show you. Can you see here, there, the stems? And look at this. Look how perfectly those tulips fit right on top of there. <laughs> I just love it. Okay, the next thing we're gonna cut is our rain boots. And I could have done them gray, but you know, gray is boring and we wanted to try a new color, right? So we're on Tahitian Tide for our rain boots. And let's see. That looks good. You know what I've really um, enjoyed is, been learning to enjoy, is these colors, although they're kind of bright and they don't really look like they go together, they really do. I think when I put this card together, I was just really surprised at how great um, the colors all look together. Okay, now we're gonna do, this is another die that comes with the set. I think it's supposed to look not a picket fence, but you know, um, like in your backyard, you might have um, this type of thing that that does this. It goes in these these kind of um, diamond shaped things, and you can hang stuff on it, like uh, shovels or uh, ho little hose. You know, do you know what I'm talking about? H o e s. Um, different garden items and so I thought this would be cute to put on and it's it's really fun let me show you up here what it does and you can use the little diamonds that come out they're actually just little squares look at that and you end up with all these little squares if you want to use them somewhere else and then this is I think do you see what I'm talking about that kind of fencing or kind of a little screen maybe that you might put behind your um, near your plant planting area trellis Roz you are always helping me out with my words I so appreciate you thank you so much okay and we've got one more thing we're gonna cut out because it just seemed like we should have a little bit of grass underneath our rain boots so I've got another piece of parakeet party and the Eden dies and this piece right here looks to me like grass. I thought we could make it into grass today. So let's see. I did it on the first card and I'll show you what I did. I think it looks kind of good. So we're just going to 
the paper isn't as wide as the actual grass, as long as the actual grass die. However, our card, it's, it's a plenty for our card. So what you have to do is you do have to line it up to the bottom because it doesn't cut along the bottom. They expect that to be an edge that you have placed in there. So let's, oh, okay, it moved. This is one little trick. I'm going to go ahead and put it at an angle and see if that'll work. Let's put that little guy right at an angle and see if we can get it to stay down. I did earlier. Okay, that looks good. You can use washi tape to hold these things. But, you know, the washi tape actually kind of, to me, it gets my dyes kind of gooey. And so I try not to use it. And let's see how that grass turned out. That's what comes out. And here's our piece of grass and plants. Isn't that kind of cute? Okay, now we're done with all that and we can put our card together. I'm really excited to put it together. Okay, where's our card base? Here we go. Here's our card base, and let's be sure we're going the right direction. A few we a week or so ago, I put my card together upside down. It was quite embarrassing. Okay, so we're gonna start with our piece of grass, and I'm gonna just pretty much line it up right at the end of the designer series paper. And let me get my little paper snips out. And I think what I'm gonna do is, um, I like that end over here on the right, so let's see how we can get it to end on the left. Um, let's see, let's hold it like this, and we'll just put our paper snips right in there, and we'll see if that doesn't work. Okay, that's just a little bit crooked, and we'll just fix it. I probably should have done this before I put the designer series paper on, but it's okay. It's gonna look fine. See, isn't that kind of cute? So we'll just go ahead and put that down with some of our multi-purpose glue. And I think, I'm glad I figured this out because I think this is gonna be very handy now that I know that this piece of the Eden dies can be grass. And the Eden dies are in the new catalog. So they're carrying over if you have them. So that can be a nice little base for your different scenes new grass. Thank you, Linda. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is we'll go ahead and put on our um, trellis. And I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and trim this up right here. Because I want, I want it all to fit on the page. Okay, and that will fit. It doesn't go all the way to the end, but you get the idea. And then you know, I could have done this with adhesive sheets, but I don't mind gluing, so I'm just gonna put the tiniest bit of glue. And you know my little rule is that we just let it set up a second or two, and then it doesn't smear as much. Just a tiny bit, just, just, just ever so slightly. It doesn't have to be everywhere. Just a little bit, there we go. I think that's plenty. And we'll just let that sit for one second. And then remembering it doesn't go over all the way to the side, we're just gonna put it right like that. And see how perfect that turns out with just that, those little dots of glue. Now we're ready for our rain boots and our tulips. And what I'm gonna do, these are meant, they're, they're just made so well as far as this is meant to sit right on those boots. Look at look at how the base here looks like it's coming right out of the boots. I just love that. So what I'm gonna do is put the tiniest bit of glue right up here on the boots. Just a little strip there and a little strip here. And then we're gonna lay this on that and I think it's gonna work out just fine. And doesn't that look like the the leaves are coming right up out of the out of the boots 
And then, again, these just are made to perfectly sit on these stems. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven stems. So this is what I did before and it worked out great. I just put one dot, a tiny dot, on the top of each stem. Whoops, that was a whole bunch. That's it, seven stems. These are leaves. So we just center this right on top there. And there we go. That one is where I put that big blob. Just a little bit left. And then we can turn it over and we can see how everything is adhering there. Let me put it up where you can see it, I'm sorry. So we've got the leaves adhered here with multipurpose glue and the tulips right in there. I'm going to turn that over and just press down a little bit on those stems. And then we have the entire piece. I think it's really cute and I think the colors look fabulous coming up out of the blue boots. The Tahitian Tied boots. I'm, it takes me a while before I learn this. So I am going to lift this all up on dimensionals. Let me get my dimensionals. And I'm, I think we can use the full size dimensionals. They, they actually do fit here and it'll secure our, our little boot scene, our flower, rain, flowers in the rain boots. And the set is called the flowering rain boots, is what the stamp set is called. And I just think it's cute. Then I'm gonna put um, some dimensionals right over where the, you know, at kind of the seams where these things hook together, where the boots hook with the stems. That'll help secure that. And interestingly, you can actually fit these big dimensionals right in there on the back of the tulips. I was really surprised. Um, I think maybe we just need two, and then I'll put one more in here. Whoops, okay. So all we need to do is take our backs off and we are gonna have the majority of our card handled. So what do you think about the colors? Let me know um, what you think about these colors and putting them together. Like I said, I'm usually a pastel girl, um, but this looks so bright and cheery for spring. I really love it. <coughs> okay, there are our boots. Just gonna have a little drink here. I'm drinking, hmm, uh, LaCroix, La something like that. A berry one. I really like it. Okay, so there are our cute little boots. The colors are nice and cheerful. Yes, they are. And now we have our fun scalloped um, sentiment. And what I'm going to do is not put it dimensional here. I'm going to put the dimensionals on this side here so that it'll sit right on top of the boots. Everything will be the same height. That's really important when you're working with dimensionals that you get, you know, that you know what height you're working with. Okay, so we're going to put that right on like that. Live life in full bloom. Now, we've got to put embellishments, right? Sometimes I forget the em embellishments. These are artistry bloom adhesive sequins. And look at how pretty that blue goes. I don't know if you can really see it. It really, um, it, I think it could be balmy blue. I'm gonna put this glue away because these are self-adhesive. And I'm just gonna put some of the small ones around and I think it looks, the color just really pulls up the color in the in the boots. Look at that. Can you see that? It's just really cute. Isn't that darling? And we're going to put another one uh, right up in here. And you know one thing I like about the sequins, especially when they're adhesive backed, is that they are not like some of the other embellishments that stick up like the rhinestones and everything that can go through your envelope when you nail something these really lay flat and you don't because a lot of times if I have a card that has a lot of embellishments 
I'll put another sheet of cardstock on top of it before I put it into my envelope so the embellishments don't go through the envelope. Yes, they do look like raindrops, Diane. I, I really like them. I could put on more, but I'm going to stick with that. I did it again. I did it again. I did it upside down. Oh my gosh. I can't believe that. It's I'm concentrating on you girls. And look at me. Oh my goodness sakes. Okay. We're going to fix it. Not to worry. I need you guys to help me and say do not do it upside down. I had it in my mind and then... When I came back with the die cut things to glue them on, I did it upside down. I can't believe that. I'm lucky that I have an extra piece of cardstock, an extra card base right here. Um, yes, you can giggle. You totally can. And I know that this is something we all do. So, you know, I'm just going to plug through and just... You can make a beautiful card even if you make it upside down in the beginning. You use an extra sheet of cardstock. Okay, yes, exactly. That's kind of what I do. And, you know, it's even prettier if you um, emboss it, too, with, you know, the dry embossing with an embossing folder. Okay, we're right side up, and we're going to put the front of the card right down on the front of the new card base. And don't tell anybody. I've done this before, and I don't want you to tell. Okay. Don't go around saying, Peggy always makes her cards upside down. It's only sometimes, okay? Just sometimes. So I'm going to press it from that side, and there we go. All right, now, what am I going to put on the inside? The inside, oh, another stamp that I've used before, but I wanted to show you guys again, is a cute little seed packet stamp. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp it in the sweet sorbet. And I'm just going to put that little seed packet right in here on the inside of my card. Isn't that just cute? And then wait till I show you what we're going to do for the envelope. Okay, here's the envelope. And what we're going to do, I'm going to get out both the sweet sorbet and the parakeet party. And I'm going to start with, actually I'm going to also bring in a little piece of grid paper so I don't mess up my pad here. My working pad. First I'm going to start with some of the tulips. We've all done that, Marcia. I'm, thank you. I'm tending to do it more. You guys need to help me. Okay, so I'm just going to put some of my tulips, let me put this up so that you can see it better, right along the bottom of my envelope. And let's make sure, yes, we're the correct end of the envelope. And I'm going to just put them across like this, and it looks kind of funny at first. And then we'll just have them come off a little bit right here. Okay. And then wait till you see it when I put the leaves on. It is super cute. Okay. So here we go, leaves and stems in the parakeet party. And remember, the stems line right up, so you just line them right up with the with the tulips. And look at that. Isn't that just cute? I just love it. I just love it. Okay, you have to concentrate a little bit to get the stems to go right into the tulips that you've got going there. Let's see. Okay, now I'll take this graph paper off and look at this envelope. Isn't that super cute? I love it. So <clears throat> this is a fun spring card that you can send to anybody. Live life in full bloom. I'll bring it down a little bit. I just think it's so cute. And you know, I wanna tell you, you can get all the stuff that I'm getting right now just like I am if you want to get the starter kit. If you have your catalog or when you get your catalog, if you look at it and you want $99 worth of product, which I'm telling you, you're going to, that's like two, practically just two bundles and a few things. If you want $99 worth of product, if you have it on your wish list, and when I sent my uh, catalogs, I sent a wish list so that you could fill out your wish list. I would really encourage you 
to become a demonstrator. Just give it a try. You know what? What I call them is my happy shoppers because you get your starter kit for $99 and you get $125 worth of product and it all ships free, which is a big savings. Shipping is t about 10%. And then after that, everything you buy is 20% off. That's huge. So I have girls on my team who are just happy shoppers. They just are happy because they're getting a wonderful discount on the products they like. And you don't have to do what I do at all. All you have to do is buy product and get a wonderful discount. And if you join now, you have no obligation until September. So you can get everything early. You can order in your starter kit from these wonderful pre-order products. I can help you do that. And in addition, my, te my team, they're seriously some of my best friends. I'm gonna um, just come up like this. They are seriously my I have several of my best friends are on my team and we just have such a good time together. It's really a little community. If you have missed having a community with uh, COVID and such, we have a fun little community and I love my whole team. I send goodies. We have a Zoom team meeting that you can be a part of. And I would love to have you on my team as a happy shopper. So I just want to encourage you. There's a link up above or below, um, or you can email me at any time, Peggy at prettypapercards.com. Now, let's get to our prizes, okay. So the prize from last Wednesday, which was April 6th, this is the card that we made. And um, I said that for anybody that said prize you would get this card plus four others of my cards so a package of five cards all together and the winner is on this live Avanel Randall is the one who won Avanel congratulations I already checked and I have your address so I'll be sending these five cards it's kind of a fat little package because I've got five whole cards in here that I've made for you and so congratulations, Avanel. I'm so excited. I know the light is a little bit bright. You can't really see that. Um, but you, if you were on the call last week, which you were, Avanel, you remember how cute it is. So um, they're not all that way. they are other cards that I've made, but they're good cards. They're not bad cards. They're really good cards. So that is for Avanel. And for next week, the prize is going to be one bolt of real red faux linen ribbon, a full bolt, which is gonna come in. It's handy anytime, but especially around Christmas. Um, this real red faux linen ribbon. So if you want this, um, put prize in a comment on YouTube or Facebook, and then I take all the names, assign them numbers, and I do the random number generator online, and it pops out a number, and today the number was for Avanel. So thank you all. I so enjoy um, seeing you and having fun with you guys. Um, I have, hope you have a nice rest of your week. And I do think I'll be back on Friday. It is Good Friday, but I usually do it at 4 o'clock. So we'll just do a little something quick just to give you a little boost on Good Friday.